Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from the highway. If you're finding us for the first time, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with new videos from the highway. In this new video, we will see how to use a dynamic input for the Power Automat Visual in Power BI. So let's see how it works. In the last video, we saw how to create a Power Automat Visual for Power BI. You will find the link in the description down below. In the example, we saw how to get the latest tweets about Power BI using the Power Automate button. So what we want to do now is to retrieve the last tweets of a specific user based on the selection of a slicer. So let's first add a tweeted by slicer. Okay, the slicer works fine. So we want to retrieve tweets for each selected value. First thing to do is to add the field tweeted by to the Power Automate data region to be used as a dynamic input to the flow and delete the tweet text field because we don't need it. Now we go and edit the button, we select more options, then edit. Here in the edit mode with the visual, we select the existing flow that we've created. Then we click on edit to edit the flow. In the search tweet action, instead of putting Power BI in the search text, we will put the value of the tweeted by user coming from the slicer. So click on add dynamic content, then select Power BI data tweeted by. Now the value is passed to the Twitter action. As you can see, the flow added and applied to each control action because it will loop over each selected value in the slicer and look for its tweets. We need to add another modification to our flow, otherwise we will get an error when moving from apply to each flow step to apply to each step. So I'm going to delete the last step of the flow, then add an add rows to a dataset action inside the first control step. As we did before, we select the workspace, data set, and table, then do the mapping. Then hit save, select the arrow button to go to the details page of the flow. Then select go back to report. Now we can click on the button to run the flow. Then refresh the dataset. As you can see we now have more tweets. If we take another example and run the flow, good. So this is how to use a dynamic input for the poor automat visual. You can imagine other scenarios where we can use the same logic. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, post them in the comment below. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with new videos from the highway. See you in the next video.